Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing my seasonal top 10 palettes. So basically, if you don't know how this works, I pull 10 eyeshadow palettes that I plan having on hand for the entire upcoming season. It is technically already summer though. I'm gonna have to just leave these out right now, but these are the 10 palettes that I plan on using this summer. So my inspiration for this season, I've really been into monochromatic pops of color on the eyes just like a single wash. I mean, I'm a little bit more detailed today, but still just this monochromatic kind of look with it being a pop of color this summer. I've been loving particularly greens. So that's mostly the inspiration for the palettes that I chose today. Lots of color. I'm very outside of my comfort zone with this, but I'm really excited to see what I can do with color this summer. This is also to re-inspire you to use some of your older palettes. Pull out those palettes that you haven't been using that you're excited to use this summer. So I have a mixture of new palettes, old palettes, limited edition palettes, just ones of colors that I really like that I play on using so I want you to take a moment before I get started think about what palettes you have in your collection that you want to pull out this summer and use I would suggest picking out one or two that is a little outside of your comfort zone but has really great summer colors and okay, let's get into it it's 10 palettes plus a cheat because I can't play by the rules I had to pick these 11 but let's start off with the palette that I'm actually wearing these are in no particular order other than alphabetical so I'm currently wearing the ABH Norvina volume 3 palette and and this, when I open it, you will see why I pulled it for this summer. So I got this green look out of it. But look at all of the colors in here. This is a true neon summer palette. So you can get green looks, lime green looks, some purpley looks, red, orange. I think that this is going to be an amazing palette for me to pull out this summer. They have very pretty like neutral orange shades as well, which would be great on days that I'm not feeling quite so bold. So this has a lot of options. I pulled this out also because I haven't used it in such a long time. And I thought, wow, this season is the perfect opportunity opportunity to get used with this because I'm gonna be honest this is not my favorite color story I love these big Norvina palettes I feel like the quality on these are super duper good you get so many colors this is just one that I don't love the color story of when it comes to the Norvina palettes but when I was looking at it I was just like this is what I need to use this summer. So how I got today's look, I started off with the shade A3 as, as my transition color to add some warmth to the eyelid. And then I went in with B2 and I blended that all over the crease, particularly focusing it in the inner half. And then I focused E1 down here on the outer corner. So I patted it, went going a little bit into my eyelid as well, and then blending it in with that first B1 color. So that was like my base matte shades. And then I went in with C5 right here, which is so pretty all over the lid. I also have that running along the lower lash line to give the gleam. And yeah, this color looks like it could be dry and uninteresting in the palette, but it actually is so pretty all over the eyelid, especially with the corresponding greens that I chose. And then finally, I used C1 as my inner corner and under brow highlight, but that shade would also be so pretty all over the lid. So I wanted to go with a simple monochromatic look. I mean, it's not that simple. I wanted to layer some colors because there's just so many options, but this is a perfect palette for a pop of color this summer. So if you have it, pull it out. Keeping it moving, so this is the Befflin Spiced Pressed Powder Palette. Probably never heard me talk about this. That is because I actually did a sponsored video with this one and at the current moment it has not been approved yet, which is fine. I'm not getting paid to talk about it now, but I guess I'm gonna get you excited for this palette because I think that this is such a great affordable palette to incorporate into your collection without breaking the bank, and you get a lot of really great, high quality, colorful eyeshadows. So this right here, you can buy it on Amazon. It's literally $9.99, you guys. You can't go wrong. I cannot believe the quality in this palette. So yeah, if you do not have a lot of colors in your collection, and you want to incorporate some without breaking the bank, because you don't know exactly how often, or you just want to kind of dibble dabble into colors, this is a great palette. I'm honestly really, really shocked at 
how good the quality on this one is. You get every color of the rainbow. The gradient style makes it very easy to maneuver different looks and blend different colors together. Again, I should have a sponsored video coming up with this. I am not being paid or told at all to talk about it in today's video. I'm just really excited about this palette and I can't believe the price for the quality. So yeah, this is one to keep an eye out. I did a couple looks in that video, so hopefully I can get that one up soon. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this palette and I want to use it this summer for whenever I need a certain color that is nice and bright, this has it. And just for reference, like the mattes are super duper blendable, very beginner friendly, and the shimmers are quite incredible in this palette. Okay, I've talked about this palette so, so much. I even literally use it in a summer makeup tutorial. It's one of my favorite palettes that launched this year and it will continue to be used by me this summer. This is the ColourPop in the Limelight palette. As you know, I talk about how ColourPop can be inconsistent, but I try as much as I can from ColourPop to tell you what is on the good side because ColourPop has so many amazing sales and is affordable. But how pretty is this palette? I told you neon green is my color for the summer and this is perfect. And what's crazy is even though this is a neon green yellow palette, I don't feel uncomfortable in these shades when I just do a pop. I've done multiple looks. I've worn this out so many times. And the best part is this quality is so good from ColourPop. I don't know what they did here, but the mattes are very pigmented, very blendable, and the shimmers are great as well. They adhere to the eyelid, which is usually the major problem with ColourPop shades. This is my number one favorite palette for this summer. It's affordable. I highly recommend it. Get with it with this color story this summer. It's perfect. I love this one. Okay, I did want to pick one of my older Dior ones that I could pull out since, as you know, I did spend a lot of money on them. And so I chose quite an old one. I don't know how many of you are actually going to have this, but this is the Pink Vibration palette from Dior. It came out... It was like a musical kind of themed collection a few years ago, but they have this really fun pop of yellow, this fun pop of peach. It has some purples here as well. I do enjoy the quality of this quint. It has a very beautiful embossment as well. I believe I should have a video on this palette in my videos somewhere, but yeah, I have not used this palette in such a long time and I was looking and I think the colors are absolutely perfect for this summer, but the great thing about Dior's formulation is these aren't like super vibrant bright neon colors they actually are a little bit more toned down and sophisticated for wearing a purple eyeshadow like I don't know so this is kind of that when I want to wear a pop of color but still keep it very elegant this Dior one is going to be perfect you definitely cannot get this one anymore but if you do have it I highly recommend it and I do have an eyeshadow palette here that has all of these colors in one palette that I will share if you do like what the color story here is giving you. Okay, so this one came out last year, I think. But anyways, this is the Huda Beauty Wild Python palette. Okay, I mean, predictable. You can see the colors here. It's these brighter, more neon tones, but I feel like this palette has a nice wearable turn to it because you have the browns over here. Like if you just stick to this row right here, you will definitely be able to get something totally wearable and comfortable for the summer. But this also offers you great options in terms of getting something to pop and just be fun for the summer. If you just pick one shade, any shade in this palette, besides like maybe the dark brown and put it all over your lid, I feel like it's in instantly a fun, simple, easy summer look. They layer over really well. Just pick one of the crease matte shades and then pop one of these guys over top. Again, the perfect fun summer pop. So this is one that I definitely am going to encourage myself to reach for this summer. I, this was one of my favorite palettes of this collection from Huda Beauty. It's great. It's travel friendly. The textures are really fun on the eyelids. So yes, this one I am turning my attention more towards this summer. I have a affordable option next and and, I mean, it's got summer written all over it. This is the Kimchi Chic Virgin Mojito Palette. This is one of my all-time favorite yellow green palettes. And I don't know how they create such good quality for the price point. And oh my gosh, Kimchi Chic does some of the best, most fun, adorable packaging as well. So it looks pretty simple on the outside, but when you open it up, you have Miss Kimchi over here. And look how cute this palette is. They have the photos of little fruit around it and the quality on here like I said is really good you're gonna get a very bright colorful look these are not sheer at all they are quite pigmented so this is one that is a little bit outside of my comfort zone because of how bright they look on the eyelids but I want to I want to try and wear this palette more create some fun looks with it it's a very good price hopefully it is still available but 
Kimchi Chic, in my opinion, is definitely an underrated brand. And I'm pretty sure I probably pulled this out last summer as well in my video, but it is truly the perfect summer palette. Okay, this next one is a newer one. It's from an indie brand. This is the Nomad Paradise Island palette. So, oh my gosh. Okay, yes, this palette was pretty much made for summer, right? I love Nomad's color combos here. So you have the greens that I'm into, the blues, the purples, and then you also have the warm tones over here. I've created some insanely stunning looks with this palette already, and I'm not quite ready to put it away since it is a fairly new palette. So I'm definitely leaving it with my summer eyeshadows. Now, in terms of the formula with Nomad Cosmetics, I don't think they have an amazing formula. They have a really good formula, though. There's a couple shades in here that I'm like question mark about you know but I'm definitely able to make this palette work the shimmers are really gorgeous and I think what Nomad does best is the experience with their eyeshadow palettes you know these are based around places they have visited and that they have been inspired by themselves and they do such a good job curating a palette that is easy for the user takes you to that place and I don't know it's just a really inspiring palette overall I do have a discount code if you are interested in purchasing this it's a phenomenal summer palette okay so the next one I have is from Rare Beauty. I actually do believe you can still get this. I have talked so much trash about their newest eyeshadow palette that launched. It's not new but it's the one I've tried most recently and I always take it back to this palette and there was another one as well as, as to how shocked I was at the quality of these eyeshadow palettes. The new palette is not good. I do not like that formula one bit. Rare Beauty needs to take inspiration from this formula. So look at the color story here. I think that there are so many fun pops here. It's an all shimmer palette, but you definitely can get away with using just these on the eyelids because the formula is so beautiful, so blendable, and even though it is shimmery, it's pretty flattering. I have to say, very easy to use. My eyes are instantly drawn to these two colors down here, but you also have more wearable colors over here. So I think that this this one is a fun, perfect palette for summer. I am going to link it down below if it is still available. And if it's not and you happen to have this palette, pull it out because I know it's been a while since I've used this, but every time I use this palette, I'm very shocked at how beautiful this formula is. It doesn't even look like it would be a good formula, you know? It looks like a cheap formula. At least I do. And I just didn't think I would like this palette and it's been amazing. Okay, so this is the only non-colorful palette for this summer. I wanted like an evening kind of deep look. I actually have a tutorial coming up using this palette for like an evening summer look. And so I'm pulling out my Tom Ford Honeymoon palette. I know a lot of you probably have this palette. For evening smoky eyes, I feel like this is the way to go this summer. And keep an eye out, if you have a cosmetic company store near you, I saw they have these for literally $20 on sale. But this is such a beautiful palette. I used it recently, like I said, in that tutorial that I think at this point should be coming out tomorrow. So keep an eye out so that you can see how easy this palette is to use. This is definitely a hit from Tom Ford and what makes this eyeshadow so special is how easy it is to create a look without even having to think about it. The product just blends in seconds. It's totally effortless. So yeah, I think that these tones, these really nice warm colors are so beautiful for more neutral makeup, but great for the summer. So this is my one like comfort zone palette over here. Okay, so these I'm counting as one to make it 10, but yes, this technically makes it 11. I've done a whole video on these recently. So Viseart actually restocked these palettes, which were limited edition and they came back out and these are the perfect summer palettes. So when I saw that they restocked on Beautylish in particular, I grabbed these. I took the opportunity to give these some love. I made a whole video sharing with you guys that these are back and I'm putting them in this video as well because I'm so excited for them to be back because they're perfect for summer, for travel. The colors are super inspiring. I've used these a lot. These are amongst my favorite busy art palettes. So the first one that we have is Soleil. I've created some of my all-time favorite looks with this palette and you can see they are so cute and tiny which is why I said they are just phenomenal little guys for travel must-haves and then the other one is Shoo Shoo which I'm not as partial to but I've ended up actually kind of using it more than Soleil because I love the hot pink pops in the summer I think that's so fun you also have a coral and as always with the Viseart palettes they really are such good 
quality, guys. So yeah, I highly recommend these. If you want more details on these, definitely check out the video that I posted recently. I did two tutorials, I swatched these, and yeah, I mean, these are like the perfect little travel palettes. So I pulled these out again to have for this year since I was re-inspired by them being re-promoted. But there we have it, you guys. Those are the palettes that are going to be in my rotation this summer for when I don't know what eyeshadow palettes to use. I'm going to be reaching for these. Remember how I told you to start thinking about what palettes you plan on using? Now is the time, comment down below. I would love to hear it. Copy me if you have any of these palettes. Let's, let's do it. Let's have fun with our makeup this summer. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.